My fellow Americans, my name is Walt Cameron and I believe in the American dream. Do you folks remember when you were a child and no dream seemed too big? I mean, some of us thought at that time that we would one day walk on the moon. Uh, others imagined stepping up to the plate at a big league baseball game and hitting a home run. I remember dreaming of riding alongside Roy Rogers and Trigger chasing the bad guys. In fact, I'm sure that every one of us when we were young had this very important character trait that we all had in common. We were all big dreamers. And of course, as we, we grew up, we evolved to becoming big dreamers of our very own American dream. Ah yes, the American dream. Did you folks know that if you Google American dream on the internet, most of what you're going to find is extremely negative. Many will say that it's uh, no longer relevant in today's downturning economy or or we don't have the same opportunities that our ancestors had when they immigrated to America years ago. Well, I completely disagree with such notions. In fact, I'm just about to finish my latest book that's titled, Yes, the American Dream is Alive and Well. And what I want to do is I want to share with you why I believe that the dream is still as relevant today as it was 235 years ago when 56 colonial patriots signed their name to the most important document in our history. I'm talking about the Declaration of Independence. You see folks, I've had the opportunity to interview many very successful Americans over the last five years on my radio and internet program called Our American Dream Show. And on that program each guest was asked to share all of the hurdles, all the obstacles, and all the challenges that they had to face and overcome in order to achieve their own American dream. And you know something? Without exception, each one of those guests gave credit for their success to an unabiding faith in America, their will to succeed, and most importantly, never ever giving up their dream until it was finally achieved. I remember one guest who said that he was fired from his job as a sales manager for a national company after 18 years of loyal service and achieving record-breaking sales year after year after year. Well, you know how he reacted to being fired after all those years? No, he didn't get upset, he didn't get depressed. What he did do, he decided to start his own company with all those satisfied clients that he had cultivated over all those years. You know what happened? He ended up building an even bigger company than the one he was fired from and which he eventually ended up selling for millions upon millions of dollars. And what he said was, uh, when he was on the show, that, that looking back on his life in retrospect, that getting fired was probably the best thing that ever happened to him. Why? Well, because it forced him to reevaluate his goals and his priorities. Now folks, stories like this and many more that we may have all heard, I think are proof positive that the American dream is indeed alive and well. And for anyone who is not afraid of hard work, for sacrifice, and, and certainly unwavering perseverance because those are the keys. And you see, I believe that any one of you listening and watching me right now who has a dream of your own, that now is the perfect time to make a decision to, to just do it. That's right. Go ahead and make your dream come true. Now, in order to be able to do that and accomplish it, what you need to do is you need to become informed, you have to get involved, and most importantly, you need to make a commitment to achieve the dream. And just like every other American dreamer who has been successful, you must never, ever give it up. I don't care what happens, you don't give up. And as former President Harry S. Truman once said, he said that America was not built on fear. No. America was built on courage, on imagination, and an unbeatable determination to do the job at hand. My fellow Americans, you must strive to be all that you were meant to be. You need to do it for yourself, you need to do it for your family, but live your American dream. And may God continue to bless America.